Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to create an automatic storage system exclusively for Bedrock Edition. Now, you may be asking, what makes this automatic storage system exclusive to Bedrock Edition only? Well, just like the Bedrock Brewing Station that I released a couple of weeks ago, this design features redstone mechanics that can only be found in Bedrock Edition. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Right before us are two different variations of the same build. One is just higher than the other, and then obviously the redstone lamps are placed in different spots. But they will work the same, and let's go ahead and try it out. So we have redstone, we have observers, and then redstone blocks. So what we're going to do, we're going to place in 11 redstone dust, 11 observers, and then 11 redstone blocks. So right now, our redstone is filtering in, and then once that's done, it'll switch to our observers, and then once that is done, it'll switch over to our redstone blocks, just like that. Now if we go ahead and take a look in our chest, so in the top one, this will be filled up first, so we have 10 redstone. And the only downside to this is that one item will always go down below, but to me, that's not that big of a deal. We still have access to all of our items. So there's 10 observers, one down below, 10 redstone blocks, and then one down below. Now the other cool thing about this is that it prioritizes depending on the order that you place in your items. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So let's start with our redstone blocks redstone dust, and then observers. So it will be filtered in that order. So redstone blocks, redstone dust, and then our observers. So there we go. That is how this is going to work. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this. To make this automatic storage system, you'll need a 6x6x6 six 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 area. So 6 blocks in length, height, and then also width. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. Now let me quickly break this down, it does look a little confusing. So on this top row is going to be our input, so this is where we place in our items. You'll need three hoppers and two chests. And for each module or each item that you want to filter in, you'll need a sticky piston, three hoppers, a comparator, two repeaters, four redstone dust, four chests, an item frame, a glass block or a slab, and then a redstone lamp if you want to add in that feature. Now I will show you what I mean in just a moment. But for each module, you'll also need your item filters. So you'll need four item filters, just like this, preferably a named item, or just a junk item that you're not going to put into your storage system. And with all of that, of course, you will want your decorative blocks, or the blocks you're going to build with. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. I know, that supply list was a bit wordy, so let me go ahead and quickly break it down. As I mentioned, the top row is going to be our input, so that's our two chests up here, and then also our three hoppers, like you see here. And then, for this tutorial, we'll be making three modules. So, in this case, you'll be needing three sets of that mill row of supplies. Alright, so what we're going to do is build up one module, and then we'll go ahead and expand it from there. So, to get things started, we want to come three blocks from the left side. So, right here, we want to place a double chest right there, and then a double chest right above it, just like that. On the block right here below it, go ahead and knock that out. We want to place a sticky piston facing up, so it's resting just like that. And then go ahead and crouch place a hopper running into that bottom chest, so it looks just like this. Next, what we're going to do is come one block back, and we want to keep this block against that sticky piston, but for visual aid, I'm going to go ahead and swap this out for some colored wool. So we want a block right back there, come one more block back, go ahead and knock that block out, and then run a repeater set to one tick right into that block. Now I'm going to go ahead and swap this one out as well. We want a block right there. And then go ahead and place a block right above the repeater just like that. And then we want to come one more block up like that so we have this little staircase pattern. Now what we're going to do is place a temporary block on top of that block right there. Get your hopper and then run your hopper into that block like that. And then we can go ahead and knock that out. So you'll be left with the hopper facing in this direction. Now what we're going to do is grab our comparator. We're going to run our comparator out from that hopper like that, and then we're going to run that comparator into a block like this. So from the side view, it should look like that. Now what we're going to do is place redstone dust right there, and then redstone dust right there. So that's all set. Now what we can do is start placing in our item filters. So as I mentioned, a named item will do, or any item that you're not going to pass through your storage system at all. So go ahead and place four items just like that, and then we'll go ahead and place in our items later. From this point, we can go ahead and set up our item input. So this is going to be the area where we place our items into the chest, and then it will filter through. 
So since we're building one module, what we can do is place a temporary block right there and then a block right there, knock that out. And then what we're going to do is run a hopper into that block. And as we extend our line, obviously we'll run hoppers going across. But for now, this is what we're going to do. So we have this hopper facing sideways. And then go ahead and crouch place a hopper into that hopper, hopper into that one, and then a hopper into that one. So we have that line going in that direction. From there, go ahead and grab your chest. We're going to place a chest right above the hopper, crouch place that, and then go ahead and make yourself a double chest. So there we go. There is the foundation for that. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and place in items and then test this thing out. Let's say that I want to place redstone dust in this particular module. So we have it all set up. Now, do take note that I do have this extra block right here with redstone dust, because if I don't have it, the redstone line changes. That's going to power that block. So when our hopper extends up, it's going to lock and it's not going to work. So we are going to have multiple items in our storage. So that's not going to be a problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and simulate that right there. Now let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to open up this hopper. We have 29 redstone dust. Again, we want our four item filters just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place in 18 items. So that's 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we'll always want 18 in this. Now I must mention, I should have mentioned it earlier on, this build is only going to work for items that stack in 64. So for example, ender pearls and snowballs that stack in 16 or non-stackable items, this storage system is not going to work, unfortunately. Now, we do have 18 items inside, so that gives us a total of 22. So, anytime we have more than 22 items, let's go ahead and throw this 11 in. That's going to filter through, so our hopper is going to extend up like that. And then it's just going to filter into our chest right here. Again, there's our 10, and then one is always going to drop down below. For those of you who don't understand what's going on with this, let me quickly explain it. So the comparator is going to be reading the amount of items in the hopper. So in this case, we have 22 items. 22 items will give us an output of 1. Now, as soon as we have 23 items, that will jump up the signal strength to 2. So this will activate, and then that will turn on our restaurant repeater, which will power this block, which will then extend our hopper up and then drain the line. So if we go ahead and place in these 11 items once again, it goes to 23. So that powers, powering that, extending that. And because this hopper is going up under this one, it's draining all the items into this one, emptying out this hopper back to 18. And as you see, once it's all done and back down to 22, it will shut off and then go back to the way it was. At this moment, if this is all you're wanting and you don't want the redstone lamps, this tutorial is done. So all you need to do is repeat this process and then extend the line down to make it as large as you want. Now for those of you who want the additional redstone lamp feature, let's go ahead and do that. For the redstone lamp, what we want to do is come right back here once again, and on top of this block, the one that our comparator runs into, place down a temporary block, and against that block, go ahead and place down your glass block or your slab, whatever you chose to use, we can knock that out. Get your redstone dust, place redstone dust down right here, and on top of our hopper, what we want to do is grab our repeater, and then crouch place our repeater on top of that hopper. From there, we can go ahead and run that repeater into a block, so just like that. And then from here, go ahead and place down your redstone lamp. So we can go ahead and try this out. Let's grab half this stack. We're going to put that in. It's sorting. And then once it's all done sorting, our lamp will turn off. Now, as you saw, I did have two different variations. So for the other variation, all you have to do is place the lamp down below. And then glass in front to keep this nice and even. So we can use the rest of our stack. And it's going to work just the same. Now, the reason we are using a transparent block back here, so glass or slab, is because when this redstone comes up, we don't want it to be powering a solid block, which would lock up this hopper. So that is the reason why we're doing that. I know I mentioned not to use solid blocks, we wanted to use transparent, but I just tested it with solid blocks, and I found out that it doesn't affect the hoppers whatsoever. So to save you resources, I apologize if you've done it already, but you can use solid blocks instead. As I mentioned earlier, the only thing left to do is to repeat the process. So after we build the one module, you just go ahead and repeat that. So again, our top line of hoppers is running across in this direction, and then everything else has been repeated just like the first module. And as I mentioned, the redstone will connect in this direction like that, and then also up top. So with the very bare bones exposed, let's go ahead and try it out. So again, we'll use observers, redstone blocks, and then redstone. So you can see this in action. There goes the redstone blocks. And then there goes the redstone. Now with the redstone all out of the way, the only thing left to do before we're done is to decorate it. 
for the sake of time, I went ahead and decorated the build. Now, you can decorate this however you'd like. I'll leave that up to you. But this is how I chose to do it. And there you have it, everyone. The automatic storage system for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.